Hi, I'm Pat Redding, game director for Splinter Cell Blacklist. Today I'll be taking you through the abandoned mill, and we'll look for a few different approaches for tackling this level. We'll be showcasing the three play styles present in Splinter Cell Blacklist. The Ghost, the Panther, and Assault. First, we'll ghost through this section of the map, which means we'll take a silent, non-lethal approach and use the shadows as cover. We can tell by the goggle glitch that there's a tech enemy nearby. This enemy jams our visual signal, rendering our goggles useless for the time being. Oh, come off it! That was never offside! What the hell are you watching? Some game from South America. There are a number of enemies below, so let's look for another way down. The tech enemy's dangerous. If we get detected, he's also able to deploy recon drones, which can hunt us down and deliver an explosive payload. Now that Sam is in the shadows, we can take out the tri-rotor safely and do some reconnaissance to figure out where that tech enemy is located. The tri-rotor is equipped with sonar vision and can access areas that are too dangerous or difficult for the player to navigate. The tri-rotor can also mark enemies that are out of line of sight, perform non-lethal takedowns, attract enemies, or detonate itself if things get messy. We have to be careful though. The tri-rotor makes noise of its own and is visible to enemies, so if we get caught, all hell will break loose. We've spotted our tech enemy hard at work on his laptop. Now we're going to use the Sticky Shocker to take him out. Of course, that's going to leave a telltale body lying around for the enemies to discover and get alarmed with. So we need to move quickly. What have we got here? <laughs> What's that? One way for us to manipulate the AI is just to attract them outright with a whistle or a whisper. Another method that keeps our ghost score intact is to use sleeping gas and other non-lethal gadgets. Because this enemy is standing in the light, this is one way for us to slip past undetected. The game detects individual actions that fit within the ghost playstyle or panther playstyle or assault playstyle and awards points accordingly. As always, Splinter Cell is a game about light and shadow and using it both to hide and as a weapon against the enemy. Sam can create shadows when he needs to. Now, as you can see, Sam's iconic night vision goggles are back. Our AI is dynamic, which means when they discover that things are disturbed or not where they're supposed to be, they'll come and investigate. Sometimes the player can use that for their own benefit. Now that the tech enemy is out of the picture, we can use our sonar goggles to better see our surroundings. Light and shadow are hallmarks of Splinter Cell. We'll use the shadow as our cover to move through this area. All clean here. He just sent us a message. Watch your back. We've got to be close. Come up now and I'll treat you gentle. I'm going to sit tight right here. Now, we're going to go through the same area, take a slightly different approach, the approach of the Panther player. 
This approach involves staying undetected, but striking lethally from the shadows and leaving no one standing. When the opportunity presents itself, the Panther player will line up multiple enemies for a killing in motion finish. And as with the ghost, it's still possible to attract and manipulate the AI. It's just the end result is a lot deadlier. Panther, mark and execute is not only an opportunity for killing in motion, the opportunity to move into a close quarters kill is all part of a chain series of takedown. Now let's go through the same area a third time, this time to see how the assault player will handle it. This player's all about taking kinetic action. They don't mind being loud, they don't mind being detected, because they know there won't be any witnesses left behind to say anything about it. We're gonna be more aggressive with these guys here and see what happens. Watch this lot long enough, you might change your mind. That keeper there, he's not bad. Find 20 more like him, and you might have a game. With the assault player moving in stealthy into close quarters, it's just an opportunity to grab an enemy in human shield and use them to soak up some bullets when entering combat. That's not gonna help. Last known position can be used to mislead our enemies. Because we were detected, the enemies are now on alert, and the tech enemy has launched his drone attacks. Gameplay in Splinter Cell is dynamic, meaning the AI gets a vote as to what happens next. There he is. Let's keep advancing and take that tech AI out with some hand to hand. That was just a snapshot of what you can expect. Stay tuned for more Splinter Cell news in the weeks to come.